Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander viewers are advised that the following program contains images and voices of people who've died. In the aftermath of a natural disaster, when a lot of people need urgent help, sometimes an emergency is declared. It usually means the military can be called in and money becomes available to try to make things better quickly. But in June 2007, an emergency was declared for a very different reason. The release of a report saying a lot of Indigenous kids in the Northern Territory weren't being treated very well and weren't being looked after properly. I've called this news conference to announce um, a number of major measures to deal with what we can only describe as a national emergency. The Prime Minister of the time, John Howard, with the support of the opposition, immediately sent the military and heaps more police into 73 Indigenous communities to try to fix the problems there. Things like alcohol, violence, unemployment, poor health and poor education. It became known as the Northern Territory Intervention. I suppose you're wondering why all this lot are here. Yeah, we're wondering, yeah. we're wondering why you came yeah. here today. As part of the intervention, the federal government also put a number of controversial rules in place. The rules included health checks for Indigenous kids, a complete alcohol ban within these communities, and Indigenous families who receive financial help from the government would now have half of it put on a special bank card that could only be spent on essentials like food, clothing and rent. The government could also take away some of that money if children didn't attend school. The Indigenous people in these areas were also forced to give up their land and lease it back to the government in exchange for better facilities like health centres, schools and better housing. Making laws that just apply to the Indigenous people in these areas would usually be illegal. So, as part of this plan, the government suspended the Racial Discrimination Act, allowing it to enforce the new rules it had created. Some people, both inside and outside of these communities, thought the Northern Territory intervention was the right thing to do. And with this intervention, yes, I support it. We want all the kids to attend school and learn how to behave themselves properly. But some people thought it was the wrong way to go because it forced harsh laws selectively on Indigenous people without them being consulted first. So a lot of people protested against it. We're told it is more three times what, what the community needs and what the community wants. Three times. It's totally unacceptable for any government to suggest that, that they have to suspend the, the normal protections that all peoples of Australia um, enjoy. Now, a decade on, the intervention is still in place across the Northern Territory and will be until 2022. So far, it has cost the government billions of dollars and experts say that recent data doesn't show any improvements to the lives of Indigenous children in these communities. In fact, things might have gotten worse. That's why a lot of people are calling for the government to review the intervention to find out which parts have worked and which parts haven't and ultimately make life better for the thousands of Indigenous kids that call the Territory home.